<laughs> Always a good time. All right, so right now, Nils is back with Creme de la Coco. And obviously, this time of year, I would imagine you're extremely busy because people just want their sweets, not just for Halloween, but also for all the holidays coming up. So you have two cakes out there, and they kind of have that Halloween thing, correct? Yeah, so when it starts to cool down and people are having parties and outside, it, it heats up a little bit in the in the bakery. So um, today what we have is uh, we've got Adrian and Max. Uh, they're going to be doing a little cake decorating competition. Um, you know, once the holidays come around, you know, we try to inspire and do some things. And Adrian came up with the holiday Italian rainbow cookies, which people really like and we do the chocolate eyeballs and you know the cakes and the webs and all that stuff but they're gonna be doing some Halloween decorating and I would imagine too it's got to be tough to keep coming up with different flavors but also like the coloring palettes and all that stuff to stay true to the holidays but you guys always do a brilliant job with that yeah yeah you know we try to do that the trick is is not making too much of it right because right. like it's like if you roll over you just have a bunch left over and stuff but um, honestly the team makes up a lot of the stuff these days, um, they kind of just run and make things happen and, you know, they do a great job. So it's a little bit easier when it's like a think tank version versus one person. Sure. All right. So right now they're going to continue to decorate. And then uh, if so, kind of walk us through the strategy of what you guys are doing and what you have up there. Yeah, absolutely. So I actually have designed a graveyard cake inspired to make this as spooky a holiday as possible mm. for everybody because who doesn't love a good old graveyard? Exactly, okay, so there's a lot of really cool elements going on here. We've got we've got spooky fences, we've got bones, and I think it's so cool how there's different colors and textures with the white, dark, and milk chocolates. Now, what have you got going on over here? I'm seeing a lot of color. Okay, right now I am making a spider web cake Ooh, spooky. with uh, marshmallow fluff. I'm gonna make some webs. I love all the different elements that are going in here. One time you guys were kind enough to actually leave an entire bag of marshmallow fluff and I may or may not have taken that home <laughs> and selfishly kept it for myself. Now, something else that we have on the table here that I just wanted to shout out is a new holiday edition of really cool uh, hot cocoa mix. Can, can we talk about this collab while yeah, our decorators absolutely. are going at it? Absolutely, so uh, Declaration Co. Uh, reached out to us uh, via my wife Bailey and um, they wanted to do some sort of collaboration and um, so they, we talked about hot cocoa and uh, Sarah um, sort of came up with the blends and stuff and they are the best hot cocoa I've ever had. There's a peppermint and a, a chocolate one, and I think it's something that people are like really gonna like. And you know, I mentioned that before, you guys do such a good job always adding to the menu. Like ice cream was what, maybe about a year yeah. around so far? Yep. So Smiling. you figure out what people want, and then the other thing, all the relationships you have within the St. Augustine community, or just the First Coast in general, you know, you kind of rely on that system, that networking. Yeah, you know, we just, we, we, we try to help, you know, we try to do things, we try to do things right, you know, be really communicative with people, and, uh, you know, it just sort of, things just sort of happen, you know? In a good way. In a good way. <laughs> We're looking pretty spooky over yeah. here, guys. I'm spooky like, and delicious. Spooky and delicious. Now, I love how this is starting to come out of the sides. How are you feeling over here about your graveyard cake? Oh, I'm feeling really good about my graveyard cake. I love the way it looks. It looks great. <laughs> Spider-Man, how are you feeling? I'm, I'm doing good. I'm doing good. <laughs> it's a work in progress. Oh, oh we got yeah. that. So I don't know if you guys can see this, but every single one of these elements is different. So we have about one more minute. So let's call it 30 seconds. Oh, got it. So the end of this bake-off, this is intense. Is this how they feel on the cooking channel? I'm not, <laughs> I'm not even baking and I'm stressed. This looks epic. I, I know this is a basic question, but everything is edible, correct? So if I wanted to take a bite of the spider, I could. Every yes, single sir. bit of this. I hope so. I don't know if you've seen, I've been eating the different like skeleton bones over here. I've been <laughs> eating his <laughs> I've been eating his fence. She's been sneaking it very carefully. Uh, very, very <laughs> sneaky. So how about we give us like a little three, two. Oh, oh no. Oh, do a slow. One, because it's live TV and we want to make sure that everybody gets to see it. <laughs> All right, how about we give us a big Vanna White reveal and turn us around. Yeah, ha, 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 ha. Oh, Man, wow. that is so Look at the cool. detail on that. Look, we got bats yeah. coming out the side. Oh we got God. bones. We got spiders. This is a pretty, pretty that tough <laughs> choice. Thank you. Thank you. All right, this is really, really tough. I mean, I, I don't even know how I'm going to decide, but I... I think we're going to have to go with Graveyard. I'm, I'm going to have to give it to Graveyard. There's a lot of elements going on there. 
job. Congratulations. That looks great, too. I was like, Thank you. Thank you. You know what? We'll have a taste test, maybe. Ooh. You know what I suggest? You take the spider cake yeah. and you <laughs> smush it with the other cake, yeah. and you got yourself a master cake, and everybody's a winner. That, oh, that's what exactly. I, I was going to say. There's definitely no losers when it comes to anything at Creme de la Coco. Very intrigued by that spider, though. That. I'm not going to lie. Right? I know. It looks amazing. <laughs>